Good afternoon friends. My name is Jay Ravlani. I am a student of MIT Academy of Engineering. My topic of explanation is Network Topologies of Artificial Neural Network. So these are the contents that I am going to, con I am going to explain in further presentation. Let's get started with the first point that is what is Artificial Neural Network. The idea of Artificial Neural Networks is based on the belief that working of a human brain by making the right connections can be imitated using silicon wires as living neurons and dendrites. We can simply put it as artificial neural networks are software implementations of the neural structure of human brain. Artificial neural network is a computational system influenced from the structure processing abilities and learning abilities of an human brain. The nodes can take input data and can perform simple operations on the data. The result of these operations is passed to the other neurons. The output at each node is called its activation or node value. Each link is associated with some weight and artificial neural networks are capable of learning which takes place by altering weight values. An artificial neural network can compute any computable function by the appropriate selection of the network topology and weight values. They can learn from experience specifically by trial and error method. There are two types of artificial neural network topologies that is weight forward neural network and feedback neural network. Let's get started with the first type that is feed forward neural network. In feed forward neural network, signal travels in only one way that is from input to the output only. A unit sends information to the another unit from which it does not receive any information. There are no feedback or loops in such networks. The output of any layer does not affect the same layer in such networks. Feed forward neural networks are straightforward that associate inputs with outputs. They are fixed values of inputs and outputs. They are mostly used in pattern regeneration, pattern recognition and classification. These are the example of feed forward neural network. The first one is single layer. In single layer, the input and the output are reflected in which they are connected through some weight. And in multi layer feed forward network, there are some middle values, middle nodes and we denote it as hidden layer. The second type is feedback neural network. Signals can travel in both the directions in feedback neural network. Feedback neural networks are very powerful and can get very complicated. Feedback neural networks are dynamic. The state in such network keep changing until they reach an equilibrium point. They remain at this equilibrium point until the input changes and a new equilibrium needs to be found. Feedback neural network is also referred to as interactive or recurrent. Although the latter term is often used to denote feedback connections in single layer organizations. Feedback loops are allowed in such networks and these are used in content addressable memories. As you can see in this diagram, there is a feedback loop from output to the hidden layer. There is some input going through it. The input is passing through hidden layer. The hidden layer is passing the input to output to receive the output and again the feedback loop is generated towards the hidden layer. Recurrent neural network. Recurrent neural network is a type of feedback neural network. Feedback network with closed loops are called recurrent networks. The response at k plus 1th instant depends on the entire history of network starting at 
k is equals to zero. The recurrent neural network can be single node with own feedback, competitive nodes where the nodes are interconnected, single layer recurrent networks, and multi layer recurrent networks. This is uh, this uh, diagram is an example of single node with own feedback. So, what are the advantages of artificial neural network? The main advantage of artificial neural network is parallel processing. This makes it more powerful than linear programs. Due to their parallel processing structure, any failure in neural element will not affect the rest of the process. Neural networks can be applied to any application and can solve any complex problem. By implementing appropriate learning algorithms, an artificial neural network can be made to learn without reprogramming. The disadvantages of artificial neural network are all the parallel processing requires a huge amount of processing power and time. There is a requirement for training period before the real world implementation. And the applications of artificial neural network are the two most important areas where artificial neural networks have a huge potential of application are speech and image processing. In speech processing, vowel classification, recognition of vowel consonant segment, recognition of stop consonant vowel utterances in Indian languages, net talk, phonetic typewriter. Applications in image processing are recognitions of symbols that can that for example that are used in Olympics, recognitions of handwriting, segmentation of image, classification and segmentation of texture. These are the references that I refer for the PPT and thank you.